Welcome back to Story Times with Blake, and this is part, you know, chapter four of the Untold Stories Calm Before the Storm. Um, if you want a previous, like, I can't, I can't be bothered. Go and watch the free previous chapters. This is like my second time filming this because I ended up seeing the real life names. And of course I'm unable to edit so like I couldn't cut the names out so I have to start again. So anyways. So I'm just gonna start where we left off. So me and the person I was having the secret relationship were on rocky ground and basically I ended up just ending it and a couple of weeks go by and me and Katie start talking and she's already in this relationship but that didn't go well and then do, they ended up breaking up and it was like a couple of months after that that me and Katie actually was talking and got together and you would know you know Katie from previous story times that's not a real name by the way but anyways point is the person I was having the secret relationship got very jealous. He would do little stuff to piss me, me and Katie off. And it blew up in the end. And you're about you you're gonna find out why, but before I go any further, there is a potential that you might actually click to who this is. Because I, he's been in previous story times but if if you click who who um who who i was i mean if you click to who i was with why can't i say the sentence if you click to who i was with like ah <laughs> i can't say the sentence it's pissing me off basically the person I was with, the one I had the secret relationship, I have run up in previous story times, but I've named them, I've named them something else, in them, and I never talked about the secret relationship until now. But I'm just gonna say, if you click on to who it is, please, please do not say anything because I cannot be dealing with any of that shit. Especially right now because I have loads of story times to catch it up on after this. And plus, like, just, just don't. Like, I don't need the fucking asshole. So anyway, so... Let's just skip to graduation day. There was loads of stuff that was happening before graduation day, but they weren't really serious. Like, you could just do... He, he, was, he was very jealous. He would just do little stunts here and there. And he would constantly be trying to get me and Katie to break up because he was fucking jealous. But anyways, let's just, let's just get to graduation day. Anyways, so me and Katie, of course, graduated from high school. Everyone did. So anyways, I ended up going home. She ended up going to the town. And when she was in town, she ended up running into, well... The person I had the secret relationship with. And basically my other friend was there. I'm going to call him the loyal one. And basically the person I had the secret relationship. Pinned Katie against the wall. Full on like forced kiss stand. Stuff like that. And he, he was potentially going to go further. If my friend wasn't there to break it up. And of course I didn't know any of this until I go home. And I see my phone just go ballistic and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I answer it and it's my friend Callie. I'm gonna that's not his real name, it's just I'm just calling him Callie. He has been I'm pretty sure I called him Callie in previous story times, but there you go. Anyways, so my friend Callie was like I gotta make sure I don't mess up here. The person I had the secret relationship, what can I name him from this bit? I can't really name him, but basically he says, Thingy has kissed Katie. I'm like, what the fuck? And I just blow up. And then I call Katie afterwards and she tells me everything. And I just go ballistic, utter fucking ballistic. It took two of my friends to convince me not to go down to his house with a fucking hammer and smash down his door. Because I literally had a fucking hammer in my hand. 
So just say I was really pissed off. And I told him, I told my friend that was in contact with him to send him a message going, you're very lucky. And to make sure he doesn't, like, but anyways, let's just skip a couple of moms. So anyways, so I was on NCS. I have talked about NCS on my channel before, but to be honest, those story times are shit. So anyways, so I was on NCS and of course, during that time, me and Katie decided to break up. Me, it was my decision and it was also her decision because I explained myself why we should be. We barely see each other now, we were at like different colleges and I thought it would just be easier for her. Boy was I wrong, but like that's different story times. Anyways, so um, that happened. Skipped the college when I started college. September that, I don't know what year, 2019, yeah, September 2019. Anyways, I started college and of course I couldn't ha just have a normal blank slate, of course. Thingy, the person I had the secret relationship was at that college as well. And basically, at that time, I made like my little friend group at college, and I, I was like, Oh, you know what? I spent so many years not telling anyone about the secret relationship. Even Katie didn't know until recent years. And I decided to have friends, which I thought they were my friends, but they backstabbed me later on down the line and not just yeah so anyways so they end up literally they don't take my fucking word for it they end up going up to thingy and going oh is this true and, he, and of course he denied it he's like he doesn't like people knowing about it at all and basically he said no and he made it even worse he told the teacher like i made it up and stuff like that so then i got dragged to the side and then basically I had to cover it up, but it gets worse, they phone my mum and this takes place when I was like starting to go to the farm more often, helping out and all this, so people knew who I was at the time, like knew, knew is more, like, ah, uh, so anyways, so it gets worse because she's, my mum has his on speaker next to the main farm boss. That is my best friend, so like, uh, so anyways, so after college, I basically managed to just basically cover up the whole thing, but it gets worse. My friend, at the time, was taking us to the farm, so I could be picked up and run back. So anyways, so I got to the farm, and of course, my mom was talking to us, the main boss of the farm was talking to us, and basically I had to cover it up, and then, of course... Actually, one of the friends that didn't backstab me in that f college friend group I had didn't tell anyone, and I trust him more than anyone in that friend group. So I ended up calling him and telling it, telling it to him. We were both in hysterics about it, and uh, yeah, um, I'm still friends with him to this day because he's not a backstabbing traitor. But yeah, we'll get to why I'm not friends with the old college gang later on down the line, just not now. Anyways, so, um, it was after college. Anyways, so, that all happened. I ended up going home, and I was like, fuck me, did I just cover that whole thing up? I was like, you know what, this is why. I was literally sitting in this very chair. Actually, you could have been the couch before I had this chair actually I'm not quite sure what chair I was sitting point is it was a chair in my bedroom and I was sitting on it and I was like this is why I don't fucking trust people like every person I've opened up to has either backstabbed us or wasn't my friend to begin with <laughs> so like um yeah so just see yeah, I went kind of dark like I just stopped opening up to people for a while after that and i've covered it all up until now until now i decided to tell everyone because i want to get this shit off my chest for some reason because i want a fresh start or something like that anyways um if you have clicked on who who i'm who i was in the secret relationship with please i say this again please do not tell anyone because, as I said before, I can't be dealing with that shit right now.
But anyways, I've been Story Times with Blake. I'll see you in chapter 5. Coming very soon. See us. What the hell was see us? What the, what the fuck was that hand for me? What the fuck? I need a proper outro. I got a rock. Actually, I've always wanted to draw a smiley face on this rock. Where's my... Give me that fucking pen. I'm gonna have a new pet. Oh, this is the worst pen ever. Oh my god. This is literally the worst pen ever. This is gonna be the longest outro because I want to get this right. Why is this not... Oh my god. It's my pet rock. Rocky. Yeah, I kind of fucked up his face because this pen's not really good. Anyways, I have to redo that if I find a better pen. Anyways, I'll see you in chapter 5 coming out sometime this week or next week. I'm not quite sure. As I said before in previous chapters, I'm going to take my time with this. Like, I'm going to tell you when I'm ready to. So, like, see you in the next one. And believe me, after the untold stories is done, I have you... I have to catch you up on some really good content that's been happening lately. Right, anyways, bye!